नेक्स्ट स्पीकर इंजीनियर अंकित जी टू स्पीक ऑन डिजाइन एंड परफॉर्मेंस एवोल्यूशन ऑफ सीआईटी सिस्टम फॉर थ्री स्टेज एसएसएच एनडीआरई करना सो दिस स्टडी वाज डिजाइंड विद टू ऑब्जेक्टिव्स द फर्स्ट वन वाज टू डिजाइन एंड फैब्रिकेट द क्लीनिंग इन प्ले सिस्टम फॉर थ्री स्टेज स्क्रैप सरफेस हीट एक्सचेंजर एंड अंडर द प्रोजेक्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव वाज टू इवैल्यूएट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ फैब्रिकेटेड क्लीनिंग इन प्ले सिस्टम फॉर थ्री स्टेज स्क्रैप सरफेस हीट एक्सचेंजर नाउ इन दिस टू ऑब्जेक्टिव्स इट वाज टारगेटेड दैट द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द टारगेट सिस्टम शुड बी सच दैट द सीआईटी सिस्टम शुड फुल फिट इनटू द अवेलेबल स्पेस Uh, besides the available uh, equipment which is scrap such as heat exchanger three stage like in this pattern and uh, the schematic concept uh, conceptual diagram of this uh, cit system was conceptualized as it would be having three main tank which was which would be one of uh, raw water tank another one for light tank and the third one for acid tank so these three were would be for uh, uh, this working solutions and uh, it, it, they would be pumped by a cip forward pump with two sensors connected one one of the uh, sensors which is shown here at uh, number 2 would be an electrochemical sensor which would be for uh, measuring the ph whether it is acid or lye or what ph it is so that we can have a uh, consideration regarding the uh, concentration of the supplied solution then this uh, three number is a temperature sensor which would be pt 100 and uh, uh, before this three number there is a dsi system direct steam injection and then from the process we assess at it there could be a third line coming back and uh, with the sensor it would be a uh, electrical conductivity sensor to sense whether the uh, return coming line is uh, with the uh, fluid which was forwarded or it, is it having a lesser concentration so that we can have an indication to when to stop cip or uh, when to change the step of cip and then uh, on the basis of the uh, sensors output it could be either recovered or drained to the uh, uh, drains and uh, for filling of these three tanks we would have a uh, raw water source for, for raw water tank concentrated lye and concentrated uh, acid tanks which would be having smaller capacities so uh, they, uh, with this concept uh, a hold of this, uh, volume of the existing equipment was studied using uh, three uh, higher flow rates which was 350 450 and 528 kg per hour flow rate of water and keeping high steam pressures and scraper speed the steam pressures were kept as 3.5 2.5 and 1 kg per centimeter square in scraper uh, scraper 1 2 and 3 which is stage 1 2 and 3 and uh, rpms were 200 175 and 40 rpm for scrapers ssg 1 2 and 3 and it was found that the hold up volume was varying between in, in these uh, variations it was between 5 to 10 liters so uh, it was suggested uh, uh, that we should keep at least four times the volume and for four minutes of circulation time so based on 10 liter volume it was uh, uh, designed to have 150 liter compartment so to have 150 liter compartment uh, about 15% was increased so as to have a uh, over capacity build up and 200 uh, liter capacity was for uh, water lye and acid tank so these three tanks were designed for uh, 200 liters capacity each and concentrated lye and acid tanks were designed to have 50 liters capacity so total uh, tank capacity was 700 liters so based on that uh, this type of uh, multi partition compartment tank was built at ngri karnal in the research and development workshop uh, it was fabricated and then electronic circuit diagram was uh, uh, also made to sense the high medium and low level of the, all the five tanks so 15 leds were connected in this particular manner shown in the uh, central figure and uh, this was the circuit diagram of the control panel also uh, assembled uh, at their engineering division only after that these uh, sensors were calibrated and uh, one of the sensor ph sensor was Uh, programmed using uh, open source so software which is Arduino IDE and uh, other sensors, electrical conductivity sensor and uh, PT100 was uh, with their own controllers. So this was how the sensors were mounted on the lines. Uh, this is showing the sensor should be protruding inside the line so that the CIP solutions can be uh, monitored online. 
this is a electrical conductivity sensor this is temperature sensor and this is the uh, ph sensor then uh, this was the finally uh, a sample control panel which is showing this meter is uh, for electrical conductivity this is for temperature and uh, this one is uh, a lcd screen which was programmed using arduino ide and these are 15 leds for sensing high medium and low level of all five compartments individually and these buttons are for pumps the pump four, there were four pumps two were for forward and return and two were for supplying concentrated solutions to the uh, dilute solution tanks this is the cat drawing of the fabricated cip system so it is showing the five compartments are there and these are two uh, smaller pumps for pumping the concentrated uh, solution to the diluted solutions this is cip forward pump this is cip return pump and this is in line filter in the return line and uh, these uh, positions and 11 and 12 are showing the position of the three sensors now this is the overall look of the uh, fabricated cip system this system is uh, sitting behind this three uh, stage strap surface uh, heat exchanger and this is the how the experimental flow diagram was uh, conceived so as to have a performance evaluation so up till now the first objective was complete and for uh, completing the second objective flow was prepared and uh, we have took, uh, taken uh, multiple trials using rsm so this rsm technique was used for fc uh, using fcc dry concentration varied from 0.75 to 2% temperature of the solution was ranging from 60 to 80 degrees celsius and strapper speed was from 150 to 300 rpm for all three strappers simultaneously these were the responses uh, the anova table which we got uh, from the uh, rsm trials and it was showing that uh, the quadratic model was selected with uh, significant uh, uh, significant trick and uh, this this is significant for light time total cip time pct and polyform so, so these four were the our uh, output parameters now this is the regression coefficient uh, table which is showing the relationship between the light time cip time pct polyform along with the process variables which were concentration temperature and speed along with this r square value so these all r square values are greater than 80% uh, or around 80% which is showing a good fit now the optimized parameters uh, which were obtained for this this cip system was concentration 0.85% temperature 70.7 uh, degrees celsius speed 150 uh, which which are leading to light time of 326 seconds total cip time of 1648 seconds and tct and polyform not detectable Uh, now these uh, trials were also validated using uh, uh, a formula given by Lomer et al. and it was showing that the experimental values were uh, corresponding to the predicted value and the model can be uh, uh, called as fit. Now uh, conclusion for this was that uh, we can have a CIP system which is uh, wheel mounted and uh, it can be also used for other other CIP systems. and a uh, future application could be that it can be also tested for other equipments and it can also be modified into a automatic control system